Hey, what is up? Hashtag Solomon Squad. It is Trainer Craig Go here, and you guessed it. It is Cosmic Eclipse Day. It is new pack day. It feels so good to be recording a video again, especially with a new set. Um, so I'm just doing this intro to showcase all the pack arts. I got five of each. We'll see which pack art contains the best pulls, and I'll see you in a minute when I get set up. All right. Hey, everybody. As you saw by my intro, it is new pack day. Um, you also might notice that the angle of the camera is a little different. It is new tripod day as well. So we are showcasing a new tripod as well as a new set of Pokemon cards. And I am very excited. And as you saw by the intro, we got five of each pack art. So I'm going to quickly run through the pack arts and then we're going to open them. Um, and I think we'll just do like each individual pack art. Um, cause I did want to see which pack art had better pulls. So you have the Lunala and, uh, Sun Lion Boy, I'm sorry, I really don't know these new names of the Pokemon, but this is a cool pack, probably my least favorite pack art. Then you have probably my second least favorite pack art, which is Piplup and Blastoise. Nothing against them. Love water type Pokemon. Piplup was my starter when I did play Diamond and Pearl, um, but it's alright. Then you have Igglypuff, Clefairy, Clefairy, I believe, and uh, Togepi. Very cute baby Pokemon card. And then my favorite pack art, personally, is Palkia, Dialga, and Arceus. And uh, there is a very nice secret rare of them as a statue form, which I'd love to pull. So we're probably going to go from least favorite pack art to favorite pack art. And that means Lunala and Snail or something like that. I don't really know the name of, of him. But uh, yeah, so I also have to get used to opening with a different camera. So we're going to... Okay, so you have to pu you pull it off, and then I'm gonna have to cover the QR code. So that's how we're gonna have to do it. So we saw that we're not really gonna get anything. Four to the front. That's okay. There's also character cards, um, similar to Dream League. This is technically like the oop, push my camera forward. Not a good idea. This is technically like the Dream League equivalent to English. Um, very cool set. Uh, character cards and some awesome GXs. Carvana, Tepig, uh, Togadarmo. Uh, Onyx, Whalmer, Flabib, and a Whalord. Very cool Whalord. Um, so it's very cool to see all these cards. I've seen some openings from some YouTubers, but not a ton. Um, also, like I said in the intro, it feels great to be recording a video again. I, I mean, like, if you've been watching some of my older videos, I've been stockpiling videos, so all those uh, Unified Minds were actually filmed back in August. So it's been a very long time since I've actually sat down and filmed the video since, um... Probably since like one of the uh, Hidden Fates episodes that was almost a month ago at this point. So it's great. I haven't opened cards since I was in New York at the end of September. So it's been about a month and I'm really excited to get back into it. Fighting Energy, Hakumomo, Rotom, Type Null, Cosmog, Slugma, Whalor, or Whalmer, Ponard, Togadarmu. I really don't like that this card's in here because it's impossible for me to pronounce. Igglybuff. Did I call it Jigglypuff? It's Igglybuff. It is not Jigglypuff. Igglybuff. And oh, we're already starting off with a nice Volcarna GX. And this is officially the last set that has GXs because then we move into the... Sorry, just grabbing some sleeves also. Then we move into the new set. Oh my god, why don't I not have sleeves? Okay, I don't have sleeves, but... um. I promise I will sleep them up after. Uh, this is, they move into, this is the last uh, Sun and Moon set, and then it's Sword and Shield, and they have like some, it's a type Y or level Y or something. I, I know I've seen it before. I should know what it is, uh, because you know me, biggest Pokemon fan. Uh, I'm excited for the game to come out in a few short weeks. But uh, yeah, I was very, very excited to get my hands on these cards because unlike Hidden Fates, these were super easy to get um, and the price was not skyrocketed by the time I got their feel. Uh, Pasmian, Litlo, and a Whalord. So we've doubled up on our regular rares. Uh, I also got a very nice discount on these cards because I bought 20 packs, so... Uh, Roland Big does pay off. These car these packs were sub four dollars, sub three fifty. They were like three dollars and forty three cents each, which honestly for individual packs is a very decent price. Anorith, Cricketune, uh, Delmas, 
Natu, Trapinch, Seal, Pazmian. How many cards are in this set? 236 is a huge set. It might be the biggest set to date, and I'm still seeing so many of these repeats already. It's probably uh, just a lot of uh, rares that are different uh, in a riot shoe. So this is the last pack for the Lunala set. Um, and so far we've pulled, I think, one holo no holographic cards, actually. We have pulled one GX. Come on, people were telling me the pull rates in this set was better, um, and I'm inclined to believe them. Pignite, Zangoose, Gloom, Litleo, Coughing, Nosepass, Snow Runt, uh, Rock Ruff, Nosepass again, and there we go. What a beautiful card. So I did pull this in the Dream League set. Didn't even know this was in the English set, but that is an incredible card. That is a Reshiram, Zekrom, and N chilling in the middle. 157 out of 236. GX, beautiful card. If they have like the secret rare version of this card as well, that's awesome. So we have pulled two GXs so far. Very nice pulls, nothing to scoff at. No character cards yet. Don't know the actual rarity of the character cards, but I will put these off to the side. Um, it seemed like we were pulling them a lot more in uh, Japanese. I think we were guaranteed, we got like three per box. Um, Maybe four. It just it just seemed much more common, probably because the packs were smaller. But on to the Piplup and Blastoise packs. Oh, I already know this video is going to be kind of long because there's so many packs and it's new pack day and I want to go slow through all the pack art to really cherish everything, but gotta go quick. And I believe character cards do take up the uh, reverse spot. Heracross, uh, Lily's Polka Doll. Phantom, so you can probably double up, which is awesome. Little Pup, Trap Inch, Sneasel, Lily's Full Force, Lily's Full Force, Full Art, which I did pull in Japanese, also is a card that they have. And a Roller Skater, is this one of the Secret Rares? No, this is not a Secret Rare, it's a Full Art, but dang, I didn't even know the Full Art Roller Skater was in this. There's a Support card, I haven't pulled a Supporter card in so, so long. Um, Never pulled one in Unified Minds, and we were going for Misty's uh, favor the whole time, but that is a very nice supporter card very very nice the colors on this card just absolutely pop and it has that rainbow tint to it very nice looking card all right Piplup I know I was giving you guys some some shade in the beginning but if you're gonna deliver packs like that you might just be my favorite packer but you got to keep it up you gotta promise me to keep up the good pulls I would like to pull at least one character card don't know the rarity on them still um, and also, I know I'm late to the party, but I did order a uh, XY All-Stars set, um, which should be coming sometime soon. Uh, and then for those that don't know, it's kind of like a the Japanese version of a send-off of all the packs um, that were in Sun and Moon. I don't know why I said XY. It's Sun and Moon, I believe. And it has just a bunch of the uh, favorite cards throughout the set. And it has some awesome gold cards like the Gold Rashi Ram and Charizard. And you have a chance, one out of 250 packs gives you a chance at a God Pack where all 10 cards are secret rares. So that is on the way. Um, I had to, oh, a Steelix character card. That is incredible. So before we, we go on this card again, I did order that. I had to order it from Japan. So it should be arriving in about a few days. Um, and that should be next week's video very hopefully. Uh, and Steelix, what an incredible card. This character card is insane. So the character cards are secret rares. But that is a very nice looking character card. I do not know if this Steelix one is in the Japanese, but wow, the character cards just look absolutely incredible. So definitely like in these Piplup packs so far. And without spoiling it for myself, I did look at the back of the card. Um, and usually it's like if it's dark green, you don't pull anything. So that character card was in a dark green pack. So that means character cards, I guess, aren't really considered... I mean, even though they're secret rares, character cards aren't considered something that gives you a light green or a, a white background. So that means there's a chance. Oh, tag team trainer cards. I forgot about these like regular. There's awesome ones. So I'm going to put that off to the side as well. But that means if I accidentally spoil it, a dark green back doesn't necessarily mean we're not going to get anything. We can still get character cards, which is awesome. A type null and a mimikyu. The, I believe there's some full arts of those tag team trainer cards, and those are awesome. My only issue really with those cards is it's like a direct copy and paste from their uh, respective cards, and then they just stick them together, and it's like, ah, tag team. They don't really do any cool artwork for them, but a uh, fair energy. 
Uh, Dragonum Z Dragon Claw. Cool. Dusk Ops. Professor Oak Setup. Carnava. Or, yeah, Carnava. Carvana. Jeez. Chincho. Azrael. Rufflet. Oddish. A Togamaru. Togedemaru and a Finian. So we went, we were hot the first two packs, and now Blastoise and Piplup are slowing down. But that is okay. Also, if you notice, I did clean up the backspace of the area. You probably noticed in the uh, first little little intro shot that I did. Um, I actually did that a while ago, and two weeks ago. So the last two videos that came out were actually, you know, like I said, they were, they were just older videos, um, ones that I had stashed. So a Deerling, Golet, Dupiter, Apom, Embor, and a Galele. So all in all, pulls are flying right now, guys. We have like five pulls at 10 packs. And uh, that is definitely in contention for the number one. Oh, actually, it's hard to tell. But I'd, I'd say this is in contention for number one so far. It definitely beats out, I believe, those two GXs. Cynthia and Caitlyn tag team. Not super special card, but... um. It's only an uncommon, but I do like the tag team trainers, and maybe if we see a lot more of them, I'll realize, hey, this isn't a special card at all, but for right now, I think it's a very cool card. We've got a Steelix character card, absolutely incredible shine to it, and the Roller Skater Full Art Supporter card. So we managed to pull three very pretty cards there. Now, Igglypuff, Clefairy, or Clefable, I know somebody's going to be mad that I botched that, and Togepi, at least I get Togepi right, you know? Um, so there we go on these five packs and I'd love for another character card no idea exactly all of the character cards that are in English um, and I think there's some really cool gold cards as well that we want to pull I haven't looked too much into the set on what is like the, the cool cards to pull I know the secret rare of like the statue version of these guys is something that I do really want to pull um, other than that I'm pretty much open to really anything and there's a Weavile to end that pack off this isn't like, uh, at least to my knowledge yet, this isn't like a, oh, I need like a card like when I was hunting down Misty's Favor. It's not like one of those yet. And don't worry, the Misty's Favor hunt will continue. And I should also try to pull the Reshiram Charizard Full Art uh, Rainbow Rare and stuff like that. You know, the typical cards that everybody wants to pull. I should set my sights on pulling those before the packs get too, too expensive. Whalmer and an Embor regular rare. So now we're hitting a little bit of a slump. I think it's been about six or five packs since we've pulled anything nice um we haven't even seen a holographic yet which is very weird it seems in these new packs holographics are very hard to come by um and speaking of holographics the next set is going to have like vertical lines i think similar to how some of the xy had uh horizontal lines so it's an interesting pattern not really my favorite but i'll have to see it in person before i cast judgment um, I really would love them to go back to like the Diamond and Pearl and the EX era of uh, Hollows because those were absolutely incredible. But yeah, newer sets, I struggle to pull Hollows, which is weird. Um, that's okay. Lily's Full Force is a card that I'd like to pull full art. That is definitely a very pretty card that I have in English and uh, or in Japanese and in English. That would be a very nice looking card. And uh, all right, speak of the devil, a Kamoo uh, holographic. So that's really all we've pulled out of these, out of this set so far for our, the, the three baby Pokemon, and it is down to the last pack. So, I mean, they're definitely contending for last place right now, unless you pull me something like absolutely insane. Get me like some full art gold card, and we'll, we'll talk about putting you up front, but right now you are dead last. Fairy Energy, Delmize, Chaotic Swell, Tropius, Golet, Jupiter, Helio, Helio type. That's or Helio, Helio tile. <laughs> I very interesting color scheme. I mean, it's it's yeah, it's just pure yellow. Uh, Carvana, Tepig, Larvesta, and a Wishy Washy GX. So yeah, uh, you're definitely so far last place. Oh, phone's running out of battery. We gotta we gotta we gotta kick this into full notch. You got a Como and a wishy-washy. Nothing to nothing to really praise there. Um, that's okay. I still love you. I mean, yeah, we, we were okay. Nothing super special. But on to my favorite pack art, 
and I really hope the luck is there. So without further ado, five of arguably some of my all-time favorite legendaries as well. Um, Hulkia probably being my all-time favorite legendary. Dialga also a very cool one. I believe Dialga had Roar of Time and uh, Hulkia had Spatial Rend in the game and I never caught Arceus or but I always love Platinum Arceus, the card set. So I know sometimes I call him Arceus, sometimes I call him Arceus. Kind of switch between the two. Uh, Jangmo and a Golruk. A Golurk. Golurk. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Notice there's a lot of fire cards. Like, just, I, I like, saw some. Um, Professor Oak set up. There's a lot of fire Pokemon. Like, look at that. Very cool. I like fire Pokemon. I feel like there might be one of the least uh, of them, if that makes sense, like the least types. Like in the games, especially like in the games that I play, there's just never any fire type Pokemon. That might be just because I'm playing the wrong game, but like, I don't know. Hopefully Sword and Shield has some more good fire type Pokemon. Uh, ooh, a Mallow and Lana. So we'll put that over to the side. And that is our first pull, I say, with the uh, abbreviation because it wasn't that incredible a magneton and a sentimentode so we're down to our last two packs on my favorite pack art and we might have just pulled all of our good pulls in the beginning and ever since i said we are flying and ever since i said we we're flying with the good pulls uh we haven't pulled anything and that that stinks so water energy clay primple up i'd love to see napoleon gx i don't actually know if there is one palpitoad jangmo deerling golet Oh, I thought I saw some shine. A wishy-washy character card. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is in the Japanese as well, and I don't think I pulled this one, but the little fish is trying to trying to bite her finger. Bravery. Uh, yeah, very nice. 240 out of 236. Now, we, we, what do we have? 247? Yeah, 247 and uh, 240. So that means there's at least nine char 11 character cards. If there's 236... And character cards are the newest. So 237 to 247 at least. There's at least 10. Okay, yeah. Miscounted there. But there's a there's at least 10 character cards. Possibly more. Um, I think there was 10 in Japanese. I don't know if there's actually a red character card in this one. But we'll see. A Pikachu in red. Golduck. This is our last pack, by the way. So we should uh, we should savor this one. Sunkern. I'm definitely going to go with more packs. But if that... Uh, all-star set comes around before i get the chance to go ahead and get more packs that will be next week's video and you know new set means more videos than normal so i'll probably lump some together and ah drapapa or drampa and let's go come on please some some goodness for the last card oh no you're gonna troll me like that and we're gonna get two of the same last cards all right so yeah um Arceus, Dialga, Palkia definitely did not pull through as this was their two pulls. Um, and there, they might be in contention for last place. I don't really know who lost, but I can say for a fact that Blastoise won. Because they those packs were absolutely stunning. And I'm going to quickly, quickly sort these cards and showcase everything from worst to best that we pulled. Nice healthy stack. Um, I don't actually think I'll end up sleeving these, but some tag team Cynthia and Caitlin and Mallow and Lana. A Como holographic, wishy washy and Steelix character cards, both awesome with their respected trainers. Very very nice. A wishy washy. Did I? Was this? All right, because wishy washy can like transform into the the big guy and the small guy. Yeah yeah yeah. So a wishy washy GX. A Volcarno GX, a Reshiram and Zacharom GX. Honestly, one of my all-time favorite, just regular GX. is a super stunning card. The colors absolutely pop. And I know I've been saying that a lot in this video, but the colors really do pop in all of these cards. And a roller skater full art. Just look at that shine on that card if you like oh, so pretty. So all in all, nothing to complain about, especially with these packs being under $3.50. I know they say $4.20 nine here but like we got them at a discount because we've got 20 packs so uh yeah new pokemon release day cosmic eclipse is officially out i'm loving the polls already let me know 
what you guys have pulled. Let me know if you pulled anything from my code cards. That was awesome. And let me know your favorite pack art. I have told you my least favorite to favorite. So let me know your favorite at least or your least favorite. And I will see you guys in the next episode.